welcome back. Now, we're going to continue our array pseudocode program in this example, but what we're going to do is we're going to put a little for loop into it. Now, what I want to do is I want to print every item in my for in my array in sequence. So let's have, have a think about how we're going to do this. Well, I'm going to take that line out. I'm going to leave the array definition in array profit. So that's fine. But so I'm going to have a for loop. So for item in profit print item and n4. Now let's have a little look at the one. I'm going to change this. Uh, create an array and print all index values. So that's all five values. Let's have a look at this. So we've got an array defined, which is fine. So let's have a look at the for loop of four item in profit. Now that can be anything. You see it written as i, x, num, n, all sorts of things. But because I want us to be quite specific, I'm saying, okay, so for every item or every component, if you like, in the array called profit, print that item. So if we created this as code, this is the instruction that would say, right, okay, so print every single thing in sequence. Okay, thank you very much for listening and viewing.